Despite the fact that the president backs you heavily, we are seeing analysts saying that Newsom is the favorite. How do you plan to change their predictions? Well, I think the people of this state have been living under uh, tremendous uh, uh, struggling conditions, uh, Sherry. I mean, the cost of gasoline, the cost of housing, the cost of uh, water, the availability of water, uh, the mismanagement of the state has been epic. Uh, the ruling party in this state has got to take responsibility from that. Mr. Newsom has even admitted that, that he not only doesn't have any plans or objectives or timelines, he actually admitted that in a recent article, but uh, he says that uh, the Democratic Party, the, uh, the ruling party here, has is, is got to take ownership of uh, the problems in this state. You know, I'm a small businessman. I started at the bottom. I struggled. The people of this state, Sherry, are really struggling each day to try to make it in this golden state. The rest of the country is enjoying wonderful job growth and wage growth. Meanwhile, here in California, Average working people can't pay their rent. They, they can't fill up their tank with gasoline. They're driving two hours or, or more in clogged expressways trying to get to their job. And, and then, you know, they're, they're having the struggle to look at the end of the month and see that they can't save any money for the, for the house that they want to buy because it's so expensive. Uh, I'm a businessman. I've spent a career... Mm solving problems right. for people, and I think that's what this state desperately needs. Is President Trump a liability or an asset to you in your, in your underdog campaign? Now, you know, uh, the president has done a fine job of cutting taxes and regulations, but he's not on the ballot in California. Oh, Donald wait a minute. Trump I got to push back respectfully. I got to push back respectfully because, candidly, well, he is fine. on the ballot. They've, they've, got, they've got both parties. No. They've got both houses. Well, but but my 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 opponent is going to make the issues all about him. But of course, that's because he doesn't have any answers to these problems of the forgotten Californians, the people that are struggling. You know, Donald Trump didn't enact the gas tax. Donald Trump didn't cause the housing crisis here. Donald Trump didn't cause the water crisis that is making it so that we can't take a shower and wash our clothes in the same day. Donald Trump didn't produce an education system that is now 47th in the nation when we're spending $80 billion a year on it. You know, my opponent, you're right, you're right, he's going to try to make it all about uh, the president, and that's because he doesn't have solutions for these problems that struggling Californians are dealing with every single day. I don't care about the partisan bickering. I don't care about politicians fighting with each other. Mm. Uh, that's all for the right. media. What, what I care about is the people of this state and how they are struggling. Well, let me ask you about your state. They can't make it day to day. Let me ask you about your state because, look, I mean, I, I want to keep the political noise yeah. out of this. I want to focus on the policy. Do you support sure. President Trump's policy on immigration and the separation of families uh, from, from, uh, from their kids? I support getting a solution. I care about the millions of DACA uh, uh, recipients around this state uh, in the country. I care about our, our businesses that can't find enough workers. I care about the people who are really, you know, keep, you know, their family are separated because they're fleeing incredible corruption and misery down in Central and, and so South America. So how do you America. fix that? I do care how about that. How do you that. fix that? You, you got to come up with a solution. You got to stop the partisan bickering. You got to stop the yelling at each other. You got to stop all the anger and accusations and blame so games. What, so what and you do you do? Is Catherine really still a good policy? You got to have laws and you got to respect those laws and you got to keep guns and drugs and human trafficking out of the picture. You know as well as I do that that's what's happening down at our border and that cannot stand. But at the same time, we need to have more immigration to this country because we need workers, but we need to make sure that we keep drugs and guns and human trafficking out and we keep our communities safe. I worry about. Uh, immigration, immigrant communities that are being literally terrorized by drug gangs that are coming across the border, and uh, okay. we need to make sure that our, our borders are secure in that respect. So how will you win in a statewide election in California as a Republican? Because I am talking to Democrats and independents about being just left out and forgotten 
gotten by the politicians who are all too eager to hand out little subsidies to people, but what they're doing is they're driving up the cost of gasoline, they're driving up the cost of housing, they're driving up the cost of water, they're making it so that our farms can't operate, they're making it so that our businesses are leaving the state, Sherry. They don't care about the people. They care about the special interests. That's what the politicians care about. I struggled. I worked my way through college. I struggled with my own small business. I want every family in California to have the same mm. opportunities that I did. Right. I don't see that happening in this state. And the politicians are to blame. I don't care if they're Republican or Democrat. I want to find solutions to problems. And that is why I'm running for governor. And okay. you know what? That is why people are going to vote for me in November mm -hmm. and not the politician, not the, right. the slick politician from San Francisco.